In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a timetable using hyperlink. So for example, at 1020, you've got a chemistry class. So now you have to join that chemistry class. Now normally, if you want to join that chemistry Zoom meeting, you just go to Zoom and then you'll type the meeting ID and the password and then you'll join. Or if you're a teacher, you just want to start a Zoom meeting, you'll have to click, you'll have to click on new meeting in Zoom and then you have to invite all the participants. Now instead of doing that, I'm going to show you how to create a timetable using hyperlink in Microsoft Word. So for example, at 1020, I've got a chemistry class. Now here, if you click on the chemistry text right here, it will automatically redirect you to that URL. Or for example, if you put, if you set it to join to a Zoom meeting, it will automatically join you to that Zoom meeting. Now for example, just now, I just clicked on the chemistry text. Now here, as you can see, I automatically got joined to that this Zoom meeting of my chemistry class. This is especially helpful for students who are studying in online or even teachers that are teaching online. So let me show you how to create this in Microsoft Word using Hyperlink. Alright, so here I am in Microsoft Word and now the first thing you want to do is you have to get the URL ready firsthand before making the timetable. So first you'll have to make a timetable ready by yourself using the tables feature in Microsoft Word. As soon as you're done making the timetable, you'll have to just copy the link from any side. Now for example, I've copied this Zoom meeting link right here. You'll have to copy it by right clicking and then copy. Just keep it copied on your computer and then paste it on the Word document and then on your timetable, you'll have to right click, you'll have to select the text which you want the people to click on so that they join to this Zoom meeting. So I'm gonna select this one that says my meeting. I'm gonna select it and then you'll have to right click on it and then you'll have to click on link. And then over here, a new window will pop up that says insert hyperlink. Now here you have to select the option that says existing file or web page. And then in the bottom, we've got this address bar right here. You'll have to right click and then paste in the URL. And then you'll have to click on OK. Now here, as you can see, you'll find that that text you just copied, you just edited, will turn into a blue color, and then it will be underlined as well. Now from here, you have to write, you have to click on File, and you have to click on Save As, click on Browse, and then you have to select set the location where you want to save it. I'm going to save it on my desktop, and then here, and then here, just rename it to anything you want, and then set the Save As type to PDF, and then you have to click on Save. And just wait for, and then automatically open up that pdf right here as you can see it's opened up my pdf now here here you'll have to click on the you'll have to click on the text you just edited here this is mine this says my meeting and if i click on my meeting it will automatically redirect you to that page and now if you now you just have to wait for it to connect you to that zoom meeting let me just wait and as you can see i've joined my class i've just joined the zoom meeting so if I, let me just zoom out and here as you can see i've joined to my zoom meeting let me just leave from the zooming and let me show you once again how it works. Once again, I'm going to go back to the PDF. And then let me click on my meeting. And then it will automatically redirect you to the URL you pasted. Now, this is helpful for online students. You can paste in your Zoom meeting so that whenever it's a time for any, any specific class like chemistry, biology, or any other class, you can just click on the text and then it will automatically join you to that Zoom meeting. So that's how you make hyperlink in Microsoft Word. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give this video a like and share with your friends. And also, please subscribe to my channel to support me to make more videos like this. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.